Okay, I finally got my Dino Pet um, bags, uh, the Dino Pet and the food in the mail. This arrived um, a few weeks ago, and then I got a shipping notice that they were delaying shipping of the Dino Flagellites because it was too hot. So I waited another, I think, a week. I can't remember. It seemed like a long time, but probably wasn't. Um, but it finally arrived today, uh, so I'm going to um, fill up the unit, and you're going to be watching me do it um, and learning with me because this is my first time, so I'm a little bit nervous, but hopefully this will help you when you get yours know what to do. So first it says that I need to uh, wash my hands. That's step number one. Hands are washed. Okay, so then it says, give the white plastic bag labeled dinoflagellites a few shakes and then carefully unscrew the cap, set the bag upright next to the sink or drain. Repeat this with the black food bag. Okay, so I'm giving it a couple of shakes and then unscrewing the cap. wet hands it's a little bit hard and then I'm going to unscrew the cap on the second one this black bag is the food oh, very hard to do with wet hands okay so now what does it say to do turn the dino pet upside down over a sink or drain and then use a, a coin, lucky or otherwise, to remove the cap by ra rotating counterclockwise. So, just like that. Okay, so now what do we do? Um, insert the spout of the white dinoflagellites bag into the dinopet's belly and carefully empty the contents of the bag into the dinopet. Okay. Oh, I'm glad they had a spout. Doesn't say, it says to empty the whole contents, so I'm going to empty the whole contents. Okay. Now, what does it say? It says, continue to fill your dino pet with the black dino bag by inserting the spout into the belly until you've reached your desired fill level. So it has a listing of uh, different levels you can fill it at and what the result will be. Basically the less you fill it, the brighter and more intense the light, but it dims quickly. So unfortunately they show the water levels as if the dino pet was upright. So it will be kind of hard to gauge. I think I'm going to go for this one right here, right before pretty full, but not all the way full. And I don't know if I've achieved that or not. It's really hard to gauge. Once I screw the cap on, I'm really not going to want to be uh, messing with it again. Okay, so I filled it to the desired fill level and then I replaced the cap with the coin it says to get it really tight. Okay, and it's really tight. Okay, so then it says wiped any spill contents from the exterior and I didn't spill any. Okay, so the fill level that I achieved was actually closer. I was going for this one, but I actually got closer to this one. That's fine, I guess. Um, so now it says, now I've done this, <clears throat> excuse me, and oh, I better put the lid back on my food so I can use the food again when I need to. 
but I don't need to use this white bag anymore so I can throw it away. Okay, so now it just says um, be patient. And the other, there's a lot of directions that come with it, but what it boils down to is you need to leave this in a room that is room temperature like between 68 and 77 degrees. You need to have a light source on it, but not one that creates a lot of heat. So an LED lamp or just a, a well-lit room is fine. Probably keep it away from direct sunlight because it'll heat up. And then it says um, at night when you shake it, it will light up. And it also says that you're probably going to have to wait a couple days before the effect starts. And then there's other directions for after a while when your dinoflagellate colony takes off, how to how to take some out and start a new one. Um, but you can read more about that. So the process wasn't um, too hard. It was just unfamiliar, and now I'm familiar with it. So pretty easy, I'd say.